My hands is up. My hands is up. It's gonna stay up and then you guys leave. Oh, this for me, bro. Y'all can leave. My hands is up. My hands is up. It's gonna stay up and then you guys leave. Oh, this for me, bro. Okay, guys. So here's the thing. It's important that you know your rights while dealing with law enforcement in the United States, always from the police, because it is right to do so. Um, this takes place in Iowa. As you remember, these these officers, they, they don't respect our rights. I will be back out filming soon. I know I've been saying that for quite some time, but when you're dealing with court stuff, you tend to kind of dial back on what you're doing. It, it takes up a lot of time. So... Yeah, I'm pretty much done with court stuff and doing other things as well. So, really, to be honest, man, I am probably going to end up coming back soon. I'm end up coming back soon to the auditing space. And hopefully, I'll be able to grow this channel at a faster rate. Unfortunately, this channel hasn't been growing. Um, uh, maybe it's because I haven't been out filming in a while. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But we'll get to the bottom of it soon enough. And we'll hopefully reverse it and start back to growing. Uh, I will put the original link. Well, actually, no, this, this is my video. I will put my social media links in the description. I'm probably going to make a Discord, too. I'm out, guys. Peace. Talk with me or no? Okay. Can you pull your hand out of your pocket for me, please? Alright, have a good one. Always film the police because it is your first member right to do so. Get back to the video and enjoy. No. Nobody stop you. Get in the car. Go on about your day. I got somebody watching from a long distance. So you're worth it, man. Don't try to do me with your weapon. You can get back in the car. Go home. Go about your day. Don't. Don't. If you're going to put your hand for no reason because you were scared of what's in my pocket which to be honest which is none of your business you really should be you shouldn't be an officer man please pull your hand out of your pocket and just walk away and i'm gonna drive off well go drive off then i'm not gonna drive get back in my car with you standing right here telling me that there's somebody watching me <laughs> you came here to start a confrontation you got it just walk away i didn't come in to start anything sir you, you approached me Better calm down. Just walk away, man. I'm not even trying to be like this. You got your hand in your pocket for no reason whatsoever. You're telling me that there's somebody watching me from a distance. Just they're not away. watching you. They're watching me. They're watching me. They're watching you. Yeah. Okay. Well, then walk off, and they can watch you somewhere else, man. I'm trying to get back in my car. That's all I'm trying to do. Well, get back in your car, man. I ain't stopping you, bro, bro. Ain't nobody gonna do that to you, man. How? How am I threatening you? So the fact that the police officer is willing to lie so casually is scary. Because now he puts my life at risk because he's making up things that I didn't do, unfortunately. And now they're going to come with a bunch of cops because he's lying. Step back! Why are you acting like this? I never threatened you, sir. That's a lie. I got it on video, so... I've got it on video, too. I'm not doing it. I'm pulling out my phone. If you have a problem, just step back. Keep I'm not doing in. nothing. I'm Keep not doing. Do 
None of your business. I'm not. What? That's a lie, sir. You better not pull that. You better back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. You better not pull. She got her hands on her gun. She got her hands on her gun for no reason. So, what's your name and bass number? What is your name and bass number, sir? What's your name? No, go. Nobody stopping you. Go about your day. Dude, you're, you came to start this. You got what you wanted. Man. I didn't start anything. I was by. So here's the thing. These officers sworn off to honor and defend the Constitution of the United States. They don't care about it. They don't want to care about it. This is why it's important that you know your rights while dealing with law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. My dick, you walked up to me. Just walk off, man. Nobody's doing this for you. You wanted to create something, you're creating it, man. This I is was, on you. I want your name and bass number. I Walter never did. Ashman 229. What's her, what's her name? That's all I needed. All this for a man with his hands in his pocket, man. Y'all failed this test, sir. Y'all failed. Oh, I'm not walking. Dude, go in your car. Go in your car. You keep creating a situation. I'm not. You guys are the one that's doing it. Bro, you guys are doing it. I've done nothing illegal. Where's your supervisor at? Get your supervisor. Get your supervisor. You better, you better hope it's worth it. Get your supervisor, sir. Now y'all crossing the scene, get your supervisor. Oh, can I got my hands in my pocket? Go home. No. Who the hell you think you is? What do you need? Nothing. I'm, I'm just exercising my rights. You got a problem with that? All this for one guy. What's the name bass number, sir? What's the name bass number? All this for one guy with his hands in his pocket? I'm not trying to start nothing. All this for one guy. That is insane, dude. It's because I'm black. That's what it is. It's because I'm black. Yeah, go home. All you got, all you got is names and bass numbers now, since you're all here. No, I want your names and bass, bass numbers. What are your names and bass numbers? All you. So at this point in time, these officers know they're wrong. Why are they coming out with this response? Here's the thing. This is a waste of taxpayer resources. But hey, when you can take money from somebody's paycheck and spend it on whatever you want, you can waste it. Don't you touch me. Hold on. No, you don't hold on. Okay. So. You can go ahead and record all you want, sir. There's nothing legal about what I'm doing, sir. Nobody said there was, man. Nobody stopped you. You're the one that created all this. I asked you what was up. You said you didn't want to talk to me. So I, I didn't want to talk to you. No, nah, you could have went home. All right, well, you, we're going to go about our business and you go about yours then. Well, y'all can leave. I'm not stopping you guys. What's your name bass number, sir? What is your name bass number? Do I need to cross the street to get the name bass number? Stay over there. Sir. Hold on. All this for one guy. I'm not doing nothing illegal. The fact of the matter is, I know my rights. They don't like it because they're used to other citizens giving them their ID or just complying with their demands, even if it is unlawful, right? They're used to that. When a, when a guy like me comes and knows his rights, especially in the face of intimidation with multiple officers on scene, they can't stand that. Back to the video. I have the right to do this. Yeah, I got you. We're gonna leave, sir. You better back off. Don't touch me. All your guys' names and badge numbers. All this for one guy. Well, if you talk to me, I'll give you everybody's badge number. All right, let's talk, man. Let's talk about your names and badge numbers, guys. What's, what's, what's the issue? Do you have any issue? Nah, I have no issue. Well, I'm my own. It's just suspicious that someone's standing here recording, recording the police department, okay? That's the only reason we'd stop and talk to you. Do you understand that at all? I mean, doing all this for no reason, man. I mean, you cause, you're the one causing the scene. Sir, sir, 
or if you put hands in your pockets, then that makes us suspicious. And, and you also have... Bro, you've lost the news. Yeah, I understand. But you're it, standing out in front of the police department reporting it, okay? That makes us uneasy, and then you put your hands in your pockets and don't comply. So then we start to wonder what's going on. Well, I told him, I said, he can get in this car. He got all fidgety, man. Okay. Bro, I'm going to be I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, man to man, man to man. Okay. If I wanted to, let's say something to happen. Why would I let you see me, bro? Come on, think about logic, man. Well, I mean, can I just ask you why why you're standing here reporting? I don't have to answer that question. So. I know, I know you don't. I'm just, hey, I, have I been okay with you? I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. Well, I'm trying to have a conversation too, but obviously they're all doing this for a reason. I want her name, bass number specifically because she pulled a. So what's? Number, number to to no, I want her name, bass number. Back what's, up, man. what's name, bass number? You need a backup. I don't need a backup. He's What's your, I need it from you. Don't, don't, if you start, if you keep approaching officers in. I'm not doing nothing the wrong, sir. It's easy, we're going to take action. What are you going to do, jump me? I'd prefer not to. Sir, he got a b in his hand for no reason. That's why I always have backup, man. Because you got to do stuff like this. Why is you pointing a gun at me? I didn't point a gun at you, man. You want You had your hands in your pockets and you're refusing to comply. Comply, man. This Trying to figure out what's going on. Like I said, our concern was that you're standing up here recording the police department. You know so what? So you know how many people do that? You know how many people do that, though? Record not a police department? No. Maybe not around here, no. But okay, well, not around here, they don't. So it's, it's a little unusual to us, okay? Uh, can you, um, can you, you have me? your first name? No. Okay. Well, you guys can leave. Like I said, y'all seem to got everything under control. That's all good. Just give us a safe distance, man. We're all going to get in our cars yeah. and leave. Safe. Every time we try to leave, you start walking towards an officer. No, I don't. So I want to her name specifically. You walk towards her and you walk I want to her name specifically. Walk right up that way. We'll all get our cars. We'll leave. You can do whatever you want. You can videotape. Here's the thing, it's important that you know your rights while dealing with law enforcement in the United States, always from the police, because it is your right to do so. I'm going to make another channel. I'm going to make another channel and we'll go from there. Yeah. I'm going to turn my back to you guys. How about that? I'll turn my back to you guys. How about that? Does that make you feel comfortable? Feel better now? Y'all feel better now? I feel great. Do y'all feel better? My hands is up. My hands is up, guys. Y'all feel better now? <laughs> y'all good? Because I'm good. I'm better. Good. This stuff doesn't scare me no more, man. It used to be. I ain't even approach him. Y'all can leave. Y'all can go home. You can go home too, sir. I know you're not involved. Man, you were undercover? You might be undercover. Y'all can leave. My hands is up. My hands is up. It's going to stay up. And then you guys leave. Oh, this for me? Bro. I love this. This is awesome. <laughs> Y'all failed, man. Go home. Go home, guys. Damn, all this for one black guy. All this for one black guy, dude. That's white. <laughs> hey. I'm patience. Patience? My name's Patience. I'm not them. I'm just... Oh, how you doing, ma'am? Hi. Are you okay? I'm chilling, man. They came and harassed me for no reason, so... Seriously? Yeah, man, they pulled me, man. They did? Mm hmm. You Sorry, like man, I'm still. In? I take pictures of police buildings. Yeah. And they came, they approached me. I had my hand in my pocket. But I have all, I have a live stream ready to go, just in yeah. case he does something. And he called for backs up, and then all these cops just swarmed me. So, I mean, it's part of life. Uh, Sorry. What's your name, Hazel? Yeah. My name is. Uh, I don't want to get it. I don't know if you're a cop or not. I'm, I'm really not a, like, I literally saw a black person. I was like, what would I do if I saw my son in this particular and he's by himself? Yeah. So I just, that's how I related it. My son's Jaden. He's 11 years old. I'm black. He's black. I was just looking out. That's all. Oh, it's all okay, ma'am. It's okay. That's all I wanted to say. Oh, it's all good. Well. So the fact of the matter is they will send undercover police officers 
they will send undercover cops. They will send people to get your information so they can figure out what to do with you later. That's what they'll do. And I think this is what this was. But the fact of the matter is you have to know your rights. You have to know. You have to be aware of your environment and aware of your situation and aware of your surroundings. You have to be aware when you're doing these audits. Nobody, when it comes to these First Amendment audits, here's what I would have the mindset of. If you're not with that person that you're filming, anybody outside of that group, they're not your friend. So if you're not filming with somebody you know or a friend that you know, anybody outside of that is not your friend. I don't care if they're nice. I don't care if they're peaceful, respectful. When you're doing a first minute audit, you have to look at everybody as potential um, people who don't like you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out, guys. Peace.